Oh, chimpanzee that! Oh, you like this one. Um, what I found is, uh, found out, like, a lot of monkeys' names. Like, that's how I found out about Oliver. Yeah. What do you mean no. you found out a lot of monkeys' names? Well, there's uh, a lot of monkeys out there, and you think they're just called monkey and what have you, but they're all given names, right? So this, this one that I found about, bit of a weird name anyway, it's actually called Crap, its name, right? And- So it- they're, they're, they're not born with those names, it's not like their parents give them those names, you know, they're just- Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, this one, right? And, um- It's called Crap? Yeah, I know. Right, but do you know what it's famous for? What crap? Yeah. No one. Is it involved with this show? It, um, the first monkey to have its name tattooed on its head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, I will say not by choice. There is no way that a chimp would go down to Camden Lock and go, uh, are you a registered tattooist? I am, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's the cleanest, yeah. Go, okay, um... Can I have I'm a look through your book? Can I have a look through your book? Um, I don't know if it's something quite gothic, but, um, uh, I'd, I'd like, you know... What's your name? Crap. Oh, I'm not sure I can do that, because you're not drunk, are you? I have another drink. I have another drink. I've had some, I've had some, uh, umbongo, and that's all. <laughs> uh, but no. What are you talking about? The first monkey to have its name tattooed on its head. <laughs> What are you talking about, There's Carl? gotta be more information. Don't tell me you're leaving it there. There's gotta be more information. That was it, and then I read it thinking, well that's weird, because that means there's loads of monkeys with tattoos on their head, if that's the first one. No, it could be still the only one. The first and only. Yeah, but would they report that? Well, I don't, you don't what do you mean, would they report it? This isn't the Washington Post you're reading. <laughs> this is mentalists who do websites about themselves every day. Oh, I, you, I, I, what, what? There's got to be a third Why is that, that news? Story. Why is that news? What, how did you come across that? Well, you, you First nut monkey with tattoo head, W- I mean, what are you talking about? But why did it have its name tattooed on its head? I don't know. <laughs> didn't, it didn't say, it didn't say that. I, I mean, I, yeah, I know, it's mad. But, <laughs> but he didn't say why. Was that enough for you, though? Did you feel satisfied out having read that? Did you not have other I mean, that, there's no way that that is in the Guinness Book of Records. There's no way uh, that that is uh, excited in the Guinness Book of Records. I just read it as like, what a weird name for a monkey. And then, <laughs> ooh, you won't have that on your head. What and, would be a good name for a monkey? I don't know, uh, anything but that, really. Yeah. Uh, Dave. Ted. <laughs> but, what do you think of that then? Well, I don't know what to think about it, because I don't know what, I don't know what you're telling me. I don't know, I don't know that it's news, I don't know that it's true, mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, I don't know where to start with that. <laughs> oh, chimpanzee that! Right, um, I don't know how recent this was. Oh, God. 17th century? But it, it happened in Acne, right? Uh, if you're outside London, that's in a place in London. Um, and it's this monkey that's going about Acne, nicking DVDs. <laughs> Even the monkey didn't go for videos. <laughs> Even the monkey knew. Well, there's no point in getting on VHS. Congrats, you're on VHS. You're having a <laughs> Throw it back. Right, and there's a girl called Lisa who works in our office here, right, and I mentioned it to her because she lives in Hackney. I said, uh, you familiar with this? And, uh, she said, oh, I remember something about it, which annoyed me. The fact that a monkey's running riot, but she couldn't, she didn't know the full story, <laughs> and she lives there. What, is, what do you mean a monkey? Do you mean a, do you mean a chimpanzee or a um, monkey? I don't know. Is he a zoo in Acne? Is he a zoo there? I don't, I don't know, know what sort it was, but it, it, it was like. Is there on. a zoo in Hackney? I don't know. I don't know. That's what I was asking. <laughs> so, right, um, get on with the story. So anyway, so yeah, it's been robbing stuff, and um, <laughs> the the other bit that really puzzled me, right, is the fact that. And you're not easily puzzled by monkey news. They took fingerprints. What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, they took fingerprints, presumably because they didn't know it was a monkey to start with. No, they did. They saw it, they saw it, nicking stuff, <laughs> and they said, get fingerprints. What? So that means there's more than just one doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a heart attack. He had to fax them to Interpol. Yeah, yeah. We know that is, yeah. It's Brian, it's Brian the monkey. Yeah. Yeah. So Sorry, I don't understand. He was stealing DVDs, specifically DVDs. Uh, DVDs, I think it said watches and stuff. What, breaking into homes? Yeah, in Hackney. Maybe Are you sure it wasn't a kid with a mask on? 
No, seriously. How is he breaking into homes? They go down at the drain pipe. They're good, aren't they? They're good, aren't they? <laughs> but why would they do so that? So is that the news? <laughs> well, that's what, how much do you want? <laughs> <laughs> is that monkey news? For, the, for this week. Well, yeah. I don't know that it's true. Again, I've got nothing there was, to- there was other stuff. There was another story that I found about a monkey, but I'd, I would like to know from someone if, in Hackney if- Do you know what I mean? And I missed that one on Crime Watch. Which would have been good, <laughs> right? But there was another story about one that uh, kept getting on buses, not paying its fare, not paying its fare, and just sat in a corner reading the paper. <laughs> reading the paper, Carl, you're an idiot. Well, that that wasn't in London. You're an idiot. Either. That was in America. It wouldn't read somewhere. the paper. Why would it read the paper? Because it was its way of sort of going. Oh well, if I'm reading something, maybe the inspector. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the inspector will notice my <laughs> hairy hands. <laughs> Well, Pillington. Uh, Carl, Carl, Pillington. I've just had a news flash that an infinite number of monkeys in Hackney and nicking an infinite number of typewriters. Yeah. We don't no. know what for. At this stage, we've got no more information. And they've, they've taken back an infinite amount of graduate on <laughs> video. <laughs> <laughs> this is rubbish. <laughs> Chimpanzee that monkey news night. <laughs> Excellent. Good. So, um, we'll sort of uh, get some monkey experts on maybe next week to dissect it. Right. You ready? Yeah. Right. There's this monkey. Right? Oh, yeah. It's called Jack. Yeah. Right. I got pally with this bloke who worked in a railway station. <laughs> How? How? Pen pals? I, I don't know. I didn't say all internet, that. Internet, probably. Internet. You. I'm, I'm short Chat names on the internet. I'm short <laughs> So, um, anyway, he's helping him out all the time. It's this fella's job, right, to, uh, sort of make sure it's safe for the trains to come in, that sort of thing, right? But he's always working on his own, so he's, he's got his mate Jack in with him, right, this, this little monkey. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're having a good time, they share lunch together and stuff like that. Anyway, it gets to a point when the fella whose job it is, right, starts <laughs> getting old, uh, and Jack, the monkey, starts getting more involved. Presumably this is a chimpanzee as opposed <coughs> to a monkey, you mean? When I you say it's monkey, uh, it's generic term, you mean, you mean... You mean chimps usually, don't you? Yeah. Go on then. <clears throat> so, um, you know, he's, he's clocking the fella doing his job and he's thinking, I can do this. Right, the monkey. <laughs> I'd love it. Yeah. He's helping out, he's, uh, pulling down the levers and stuff. Yeah. So the train sort of coming on the right lines. Sure, 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 yeah. He's yeah, clocking yeah. it, he sticks his head out of the little window, see the trains coming and that. I hope British Ryan are listening. <laughs> yeah. Right? Uh, in the end. Oh, yeah. The fella whose job it is, he lost a leg for some reason, couldn't work anymore. Lovely. Gave Jack the job. Yes. Right. Okay. The railway company happy with that. I'm sure they they, they they interviewed a number of people, but he was the best monkey for the job. <laughs> and that's that's good, isn't it? Well, it's not true. Right. Once again. Well, it's not true. Don't hand Steve a piece of paper that someone put on the internet who is probably a bigger mentalist than you. That's not proof. It's not true. At no point. Did a railway company give a chimpanzee the job of signalman? It was ages ago. Uh, uh, what? Steve, when was it? it was before like before trains, probably. Well, well, it's, uh, in the 1880s. Yeah. Uh, according to this piece of paper, which is what you've based your monkey news on. Now, of course, I think ITN and a lot of the news channels, they tend to get lots of independent <laughs> confirmation of their news before they give it out as fact. <laughs> but you've got an email from someone, so let's assume that's real. It says, for this, Jack was officially put on the railway payroll, earning two cents per day and have half a bottle of beer on Saturday. <laughs> that's what we pay you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even get the beer. <laughs> oh dear, he's not allowed to drink, are you? Someone emailed in actually and said, uh, Carl, some years ago, did you die and they took your face and <laughs> transplanted it onto that of a chimpanzee? <laughs> <laughs> it would make a lot of sense. I've never seen you, you never, he always, he always has, some um, t-shirts right done up and long sleeves. I bet he's hairy under there. Yeah. I bet you are hairy because you have to shave right up to your eyes, you're one of them, aren't you? And I can see the growth, and it comes out the, the top there. Are you really hairy underneath? I'm pretty hairy. Are you really? Well, what's wrong with, what's up with that? You're a, you're a human Z, aren't you? That's why you're fascinated with them and why you, your, your IQ is sort of about 80. I think you might be. <laughs> oh, chimpanzee that, monkey news. <laughs> Carl Pilkerton. Brilliant. Nice to have, I haven't read that for a couple of weeks. Go on then. Alright, so, uh, is that this little monkey? Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, he lives in Morocco. Right, you, I'll just warn you now, you, you're on thin ice from last time, okay? So, make sure, is this real? 
It's been Don't say anything stupid. Think about it. As you're saying it, think to yourself, oh, is that true? Do monkeys do that? Do they think like that? So, go on then. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so there's this ma magician in Morocco, right? Mm -hmm. He's got a little monkey work working with him, mm -hmm. right? Um, the way it used to work, uh, magician used to do his thing on stage, mm -hmm. do a little bit of magic, people loved it. Yeah. Then the monkey came out, had a little cap, walked around the crowd and stuff, uh, got the money, had a good little team thing going on, right? Yeah. So anyway, the monkey's name was 86. Right. Because back then there were so many monkeys, it was like, oh, what names, do you know what I mean, what names yeah, do you use, what do you do? So yeah. they just like, named them, yeah. right? So this, this little monkey- just What, he had, he had 86 mon- other monkeys? What? No, 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 it's just that because a lot of monkeys were sort of working back then, helping magicians out, you know, doing bits and pieces, busking, what have you. Just well, Rick, you know how there's so well, many- why would there be a confusion with that? I, I, if he only had one monkey, where's the confusion? People would go, oh, I'm not gonna go and see that, I wanna see 86, he's the better monkey. Do you know what I mean? What does it matter? I don't what, know what you mean. Well, why do they need- wh 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 where was the confusion? With people going to the circus and going, what monkey are you gonna go see tonight? I don't know. It's, it wasn't a billing, was it, with a monkey? But Rick, you, it's just the same with humans. You know, there's so many humans now that we can't give them names anymore. Yeah, they exactly. They numbers. Exactly, yeah, there's so many humans, you know, with five billion people. They, we can't give them names, it's yeah. impossible. But, you know, with a few monkeys anyway, working- Anyway, number 22, go on. So, anyway, so, uh, there he is. 86. 86. Uh -huh. With his heart walking around getting the money. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the magician, sort of, uh, you know, thinking about moving on, because in Morocco he'd sort of done all the tourist traps. Sure. So he had a word with the monkey. He said, "How about we?" Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, no, let him continue. Think. He le let him continue. He, he didn't have a word with the monkey. Let him continue. So, what do you think about going over to Spain? Yes. <laughs> God. Sure. So uh, the monkey was in agreement. So he said, oh, go on then, right? So, uh, so they get in the car <laughs> and, uh, like the magician knew he'd have a bit of a problem on his hands because you're not meant to take monkeys out of the country. Yeah. Right? So he thought, right, what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll get a car, right? Right. Uh, stick the monkey in a boot, right? Uh, get on the boat and hopefully sort of, you know, stick it in, a, in some luggage and what have you. Yeah. We'll be over there, we'll be earning big money, sure. everything's gonna be great. So the monkey was like, brilliant. So they, they get in the car, they're on the way to the, uh, to the boat. And, uh, pull over at a petrol station. Uh -huh. And, uh, just before filling it up, he opens up the boot and he goes, yeah, alright, and then it's like, yeah, yeah, it's sound. <laughs> uh, so he leaves, he, he leaves the boot open so he can breathe and get a bit of fresh air whilst uh -huh. he's filling up. Goes in to pay the money. Yep. Pays the money, goes, uh, I'm just paying for the, Right, uh, this monkey is not gonna drive away in that car. <laughs> or, we're never doing this feature again. <laughs> Carl, what happens? What's, um, what's number 86 up to? So, <laughs> 86. So, uh... That's the ending, isn't it? That's the story. Come on, let- let right, finish the story. it better not be. It better brilliant, not be. Brilliant, brilliant. You're gonna love it. Right, so he's in the petrol station, and he's going, right, I'll pay for, uh, Pump 4. And the fella says, what are you talking P about? Pump, pump four? 4, isn't that a monkey? No. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> I use numbers for monkeys, sometimes <laughs> yeah. I use- No, I mean Pump 4. Sure. So yeah, he says, on. what are you talking about? There's no car at Pump 4. Right. <laughs> Keep going. You. Sticks his head out of the door. Yeah. The monkey's giving it some. Uh, went over to Spain on its own. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, well, hang on, let's just, let's just get a couple of the facts right here. What do you mean, couple of the facts, right? There are no facts. So, it number 86. It number 86, 86 drove, he drove to Spain. You are, uh, honestly, Carl, I, you must know. It was an automatic. Right. Carl, how did he, how you did must he... know that is shit. There is no way a monkey <laughs> That's the thing with his feature, He gets stopped though. at customs. It's mental. How would he get through customs, Carl? Has he got a passport? No, 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 he was sneaking about because he didn't have a passport. So he parked and then snuck through. Do you want the facts? Let me see it. Right, I'll examine this, Rick, and we'll play a record. Play a record, and, uh, because I can't- that's, that's- that's nearly as bad as the armed robbery. Right, go on. Yeah. Play a record. Um, because we've covered so much in the monkey world, right, the fact that we've done a monkey that was a sort of half man, we've done a monkey that- Got a got a decent job in a train station. Um, can you think of any of the other? Well, that's just yeah. some of the great monkey news from the past. That's what yeah. I mean. So that's what you got to compete with. So even though this is quite amazing, um, just I tell us. I know the monkey's got married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not another monkey getting married. <laughs> what do you mean? It's got uh, another one. You know, it was knocking about with some uh, woman monkey for a bit. Um, a woman monkey. <laughs> they decided to, you know. 
get married. Yeah. They did. What had, do you mean they decided to get married? Was it yeah. pressure from her parents? They had a, they had a good do, and, uh... had <laughs> a good do! I love the spread! I love that. Just, Peanut volivons. Yeah. Cele- uh, celebrated in a pub, and then they both went off to the cage at night. That's, that's what I mean. Even though that is quite impressive, because... But it's not true. <laughs> or it's a joke. It's nothing. It's not... On an over website. Official sort of news website. Two monkeys have married in Romania. Uh... After a whirlwind romance. Well, that's... <laughs> after a whirlwind romance. <laughs> God, yeah. Yeah, a quick one hanging onto the rope. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She was in the tyre. Yeah. He saw it. <laughs> yeah. He went, I have a go at that. They go, we got to marry her now. Yeah. Her parents came and said, do you just... Yeah. Did you just shag my He was in a zoo knocking one off. She went, I can do that for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Guess say the monkey bridegroom was scared by the number of people attending the wedding and refused to get out of his cage. No. Oh. His bride was... <laughs> Not was, bloody Hello Magazine again. No, it was <laughs> No, I think it was like last minute nerves. Right, Like, right, you know, right. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm single now. Thoughts. It's like, you know, it's the big step. Yeah. But his bride enjoyed every minute of it. She was loving it. Yeah, She sure, looked lovely, sure. by the way. She looked lovely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did she look good? Reports she only appeared to have problems with her veil and dress. Do you see, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the this is... The guests in I hope they didn't there. ruin it like Anthea Turner and maybe get sort of sponsorship PG tips or something. <laughs> totally with strong plum brandy, so they got them drunk as well. So they carried on the celebrations at the pub, and the bride was taken to her new husband's cage at night. I, I really, I, well, I apologise. Play a record. Come on now. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news earlier than usual. <laughs> <laughs> I have to save this link now. Monkey news. Uh, we've done a lot of stuff, <laughs> right, on monkeys, um, and most of it has been- It's uh, bollocks! No, it's been, has been like, happy stories. Oh, <laughs> is this a it's not, it's just gonna be like our tune, our monkey tune. That's Simon Bates, and, uh, welcome to our monkey tune. No, Go but do, do you know what I mean? We've, we've done, we've done stuff about a monkey that <laughs> robbed a bank. Yeah. Why uh, is that happy? He had a great life after that. Right. What, in Marbella? Yeah. Right, we did, uh, the one who, s- who, uh, saved someone's handbag in a railway station. <laughs> we've, uh, we've had a lovely marriage, couple of marriages. Couple of marriages. <laughs> couple of monkey marriages. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, there was the one who got a job in a railway station. Yeah, the hairdresser. The one who set up a business in Spain. <laughs> I don't even I remember, don't that, remember one. that one. Either. But, I mean, yeah, I'm willing to believe that that happened. Go on then, Carl. Um, but anyway, yeah. So today's isn't isn't that uh, isn't that happy really? It's about uh, some monkey. I think it was a chimp. Um, Who's an ape? Go on. It tried to. It, it, I mean, the story sets off a, a, a sort of a, a weird thing. Yeah. It's something about he, he went to Russia to do some business. <laughs> What are you talking about, Carl? I don't, it it I jumped mean, past that bit, though. It didn't start there. What? He, do you know what I mean? It, <laughs> it, it didn't tell you what he was doing. It just said, "There's this monkey went to Russia um, <laughs> to do some business, do some stuff, I don't know bit of monkey to... business." And um, <laughs> anyway, didn't work out. <laughs> didn't work out. <laughs> they were furious. <laughs> we wanted a surgeon. You send us a monkey. Um, anyway, ended up being homeless. Oh. No, joking. So it's taken a turn for the worst. What, couldn't even get into a, you know, like a tree hostel or anything like that? That's, that's, that's the problem. And, oh, uh, God. ended up, uh, yeah, ended up homeless. Got in with some, uh, some tramps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to start. Come on, <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Um, yeah, so he's knocking about with some tramps and stuff. Um, you know, sharing drink and what have you around a little fire. Um... <laughs> They broke into some home, not sort of squatted. Right, so not homeless flat. anymore. Um, problem was, yeah, he had a, a you know, roof over his, uh, little area head. Yeah. And he goes, uh, oh, this is good, this is, you know, we're having a good time, this is sorting me out. Yeah. He had, had his he mate. He said that in Russian, though. <laughs> but what, it, what, what was he eating? I don't know. Don't know, it didn't say. But they're in this house. Well, well, he could only be eating, sort of like, you know, fruit, nuts, vegetables that, I mean, they, they, Fat class leaders sort of don't eat, you know, pork pies and. But they've drink got McDonald's coffee. in Moscow now, so sure he probably turned sure. down on that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, there was a bust. Um, what? Was there coming. was a there was a bust in the flat that they were squatting in. All the other tramps sort of knew what was going on, legged it, left uh, little chimps out there, 
got arrested. And they thought it was a real fella at first. <coughs> they were like, get him, you know, he's obviously just a scruffy bloke who hasn't had a shave and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hasn't shaved his back for a <laughs> yeah. while. Or his face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His head. Got, yeah. Got him down the station. And uh, the boss was like, what's going on here? We've got a monkey here. He was like, what? So you arrested the monkey. Well, so the, uh, arresting officers hadn't noticed all the way to the station that he kept slipping out of the handcuffs mm. and was going, <coughs> for the entire journey. They didn't notice till they got there. What, did they put a hood over his head, maybe, and just like, bat, you know? I, I don't know. I'll, I'll give you the, uh, give you the story if you want. Uh, there's the headline. What is it? What's the headline, Steve? I don't want to see it, but... The headline, this is once again from supposedly reputable news organisation Ananova, homeless monkey arrested in Russia. Uh. <laughs> did- sorry, did you read on or did you see the headline and make up that whole story? It's the most- most of it is there. What- most what isn't it. there? What- what bit isn't there then? Uh. No, I think- I think, you know, uh, uh, Steve can have a look over it, check it out and stuff. Point but out it, the embellishment for me, Steve, will you? Well, what it doesn't say is, uh, <laughs> that the police didn't realise it was a monkey. That's what I was guessing. That's what I was guessing. Really. That they got it back and they said, what are you doing? We've got a monkey here. And they go, yeah? Yeah. Oh, God. There's some more, uh, monkey problems in the week. Have you seen the Alfords advert with monkeys in? No. There's a new advert out for Alfords, selling bikes and stuff. Yeah. Got some monkeys in it. It's yeah. causing an uproar. Why? People are saying it's, uh... You know, dressing them up in tracksuits and that is uh taking the Mickey out of Manchester. <laughs> it's, you know, it's not nice for the animals and that. So there's been loads of complaints. Well, they get about a free it. bike or something, do they? I imagine. I think they kept the tracksuits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the monkey news? It's, it's been a bit quiet, and it. I've been what in the last eye three out. months? Okay, uh, there was something that I found last week about uh, one that was in an old people's home. Um, <laughs> it, it escaped from some zoo, it was wandering about, it was enjoying itself, and then when it got to the night time, it was like, oh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> and the first place it came across was like this old people's home. Yeah. Went in there, I think it was there for about a week and a half, <laughs> without anyone realising. No. No, no, no. No, no, it did. No, what, what, so, so the, the helpers and the nurses and the, the social workers and the, the matrons and all that, they thought, well, uh, Mr. Sanders looks a bit hairy, <laughs> but I mean that happens. You, you know, it comes out of your ear and your nose when you get to about seventy. <laughs> and he stooped over. Yeah, of course he has. He got bow legs. Yeah, and he eats more fruit. Of course he does. Well, that, that's when they that's when they realised. Why? Because the someone in the kitchen said, "Hang on a minute, getting through more bananas than we know." <laughs> <laughs> oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news. Right then. So. uh... There's this monkey, right, right, in Canada, it's in a zoo in, uh, Toronto, I think it is. Mm. Um, his name's Pascal, right, and, uh, what happened was, all the, the people in the zoo, uh, sort of said, you know, what can we do, uh, sort of spice the day up a bit, right? Yeah. So they left, Embellishing. Uh, no way this is a new let story. Let him do the news, let him yeah. do the news. Okay. So they, they left- Any dates? Just uh, let him read the news, all well, right? I, I, you would I, I, interrupt Moira Stewart. It was about two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, because she always says, today, <laughs> so you know it's news. She doesn't say, right, there was a monkey, right? Yeah, right. Well, in well, Canada, on, right? Just finish right. the okay. A couple of weeks ago, in this zoo in Canada. Right. Um, Jesus. They got a camcorder. Right. And they said, let's, let's leave it for the, uh, for the monkey to have a, a play with, right? So, um, anyway, they, they passed what? it around. One of BAFTA. And a couple of chimps and that were rubbish at it. They were like filming the floor and all that, and the fingers were always in shot and stuff like that, right? But anyway, there was one, this, this one chimp called Pascal, right? Who, uh. Annoys me that he calls them monkeys, though. He they're was, not monkeys, they're he apes. Was, he, was a, he was a dab hand at it, right? He was like, <laughs> uh. filming stuff, really good shots, you know, sort of nice mood and that. He used the lighting properly and all the rest of it. Right? <laughs> no, he didn't! Just let. This is the news. What are you talking about? This is the news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Steve, anyway. it's so annoying. You know it annoys me so much. Got, Things like that. He was a dab under. He was doing really good <laughs> shots. It really annoys me. Let's Any, hear the anyway, news. Anyway, right, so he started, uh, at night, like, when the zookeepers went home, he started filming, like, other monkeys on, on the go, like, like, whilst they were at it, 
right? And he was filming them and what have you. <laughs> the Ron Jeremy of I the zoo. It. You know yeah. it's gonna end up on the web. <laughs> So anyway, the zookeepers came in the next day and it's like, let's see what shots he's got. Anyway, he's got all this like, you know, all these monkeys at it and what have you. So, oh, um, yeah, this is, uh, uh, honestly, so, uh, you so, don't know what this is doing to me, Steve. So, Can I stop him now? So they thought like, uh, actually there's a few monkeys who, who aren't at it enough. Do you know what I mean? They have problems and what have you, so let's give them the videos. That is so me. untrue! This is so untrue! So, it's so untrue that it was filmed by a monkey! So it's so untrue! Then, right? Rick, I don't know so, who to believe. <laughs> So oh God! <laughs> you're talking so much shit again. So you must know that's not true. There's so no way. There's a load of tapes out. Look at me! Honest. Look at me! Don't keep talking. Look at me! Yeah. You must know that's not true. Can it's we just hear, hear the end of this news? You. you had a go at me last week because I didn't have the full story. I've got the full story. You're still not happy. There is no way mm. that b by chance one all this. Oh, what should we do? Let's give him a camcorder. That could happen. Right. He then films him at it. That might happen. It might happen, but I don't think he'd keep the camera still. Uh, 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 two, they go. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, this is good. Still, this is good shit. This porn's good shit. Anyway, Look at so that. He's got us a lovely shot. Yeah, yeah. So this got, is ridiculous. They've, they've so all, uh, let me just recap because I, I lost my way there. So the monkey has filmed the the monkey porn, yeah. and now he's, they're showing it to the other monkeys. Is he directing? Can you hear him just, saying stuff? Like Can you just, go? <coughs> it's like, just like you know, chimp pimp one, two, and three, and all the rest of it, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, so they've got all these other tapes um, because what happened was um, they said he's quite good at this. Oh, and, and the animals, God. and the animals are uh, happy having him around because he's not a human. He's just one of the gang. Do you know True. what I mean? So they started putting him in with other things like you know ostriches. Right. Oh. And talking <laughs> shit. I, I there was I'm so. And do you know they have a problem with pandas in in Japan. Yeah. So they've they've sent him out there, filming uh, filming a bit. of- Where are you going? It's, uh, you, you, honestly, you 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 really annoy me. There's Come no on, please, way this I, is happening. Can we it's just hear the end? Why can't he just find a real story about a a a, a, a monkey? Let's hear I mean, the, the end. end. The end is he's really in China. That. He's, he's going to China. He's, he's filming the pandas and what. No, he's it. not. They wouldn't send a so, monkey director. Well, they would that. not it's send a pointless. monkey director. It's so hmm. monkey news. If you've uh, only just started listening to the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor fool. Um, Monkey News is where Carl um, reports for us all the latest monkey activity. A headline or a word or someone, someone, someone's over he overheard in a pub and then totally embellishes it and makes it ridiculous and impossible. He <laughs> believes it though. He believes every word he's saying. Let me say that before you hear, when you hear this, whatever it is, I haven't heard it, twaddle, um, remember, Carl totally believes it. Go on. Right, so anyway, right, I think it's in, uh, in LA, this happened. Right. I think. Why? What does he think? Uh, so these people are in a in a restaurant having a lovely meal. <laughs> Is one of them short and hairy, but it goes <laughs> totally covers from top to bottom in a spacesuit, so he didn't know it was a monkey. It's so, not one of the customers. One of the waiters. So that so they're having a having a lovely dinner, probably one of the best sort of dinners they've they've had, right? Yeah. So the waiter comes over and it's like, you know, can we just say that I had a lovely meal and that? Right. It's the chef. <laughs> of course it is. So, can we see uh, the chef? Yeah. So, so can, <laughs> can we just, you know, see, see the guy who cooked it? Of course. Yeah. 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 Short fella, hairy. So, the waiter, said, climate, to be honest, the, wait, much. the waiter said, look, he's busy, you know, he's got meals to cook and what have you. He hasn't really got time. So, it only took a minute. He said, no, I prefer, you know. So, just, this is I'll, a restaurant in LA that I'll, serves brilliant food. I'll pass, I'll pass your message on and what have you, right? So, um. So, he sends for so, uh, Monkey Pierre White. So, it's a bit odd. Anyway. <laughs> So, so they go, so they go out, right? They go, uh, they go out to the car and they notice the, uh, the kitchen door's open. Yeah, right? yeah, of course they do, because they're, they're gonna discover something that I don't know. So they they're just- gonna, Hold on, this, um, just, just out of interest, this, uh, the, where did this, um, chef train before, before we see him or reveal, you know, what he might look like or mm -hmm. like to eat, yeah, um, no. um, so well, anyway, so uh, so they pop their head in, and think we'll just we'll just nip in and go, yeah, you know, love 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 fruit salad or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they stick their see head. See the in. human. We better see the human chef. <laughs> yeah. You never guess what. Go on. Monkey stood on a chair, right, <laughs> cooking veg. <laughs> right. So anyway, so they're like, what's going on here? <laughs> what, what do you mean? Questions. What do you mean he's cooking veg? What is he doing with it? Well, he's, he's stood on a chair by the by the cooker and he's yeah. uh, chopping stu chopping stuff. Oh, he's, he's chopping it as well. Now he's just isn't it? Yeah. It's got a little, uh, you know, he's it, it, got the, the bosses in there. They're they're like a bit shocked. So he's a bit panicking because he's got this monkey working for him. So they say to him, "What's going on? Eh? We didn't know this. This is what's going on. You know, why have, have, have you got a monkey cooking stuff?" So he said, "Well, it's only a monkey. I should point out who probably doesn't need instructions from its girlfriend." <laughs> oh, forget it. What else you got? 
monkey news. Yeah. Right, let's do monkey news. You want to do it now? Yeah. Oh, we may as well have some monkey news. Let's have so some monkey news. some monkey news. You made enough noise there, Rick, you wanna- Sorry, but it's- it, uh, sometimes I like to move around, lounge and that, and at the mic. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, well, let's have the jingle. We've not heard it for a while. Oh! Chimpanzee that! Monkey news, you f- yep. Right. Um, <laughs> I haven't read this through properly, so- Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm just- oh, zoomed Christ. that! Right! What do you mean you haven't read it through well, properly? basically, right, it's- it's, um, it's about problems with chat rooms and that, right? A lot of people, it's like the new way of meeting people and that, innit, now, chat rooms, you get on there, you can Right, if you say someone was having a, <laughs> a meeting with someone, Please they wanted to meet- it. Right, okay. Please don't preempt but, it. Right, there is no- there is not an animal in the world that right, can operate matter. and Does, understand. Right, it doesn't matter, you want to know the story? <laughs> You and said, you said that- Did they get mad? It was three months later, she realised, oh, there's a lot of bananas gone from my fridge. <laughs> See, what I want a divorce. This is what annoys Bobo. me, Bobo. <laughs> you, you say that monkeys can do Shakespeare if they're, if they're given the time. No! That's this not is, it! Let's not get into the it's whole Shakespeare monkeys. It's a philosophical conundrum. Please, right. let's not get into that debate again. We'll it's about the- it's about- well, yeah, yeah. Infinity. Right, so this one, this one then. Oh. So this chat room, right? And the thing is, with chat rooms, uh, you have like a big boss who's looking over it and making sure nothing dodgy is going on. Right. Right, so certain keywords come up and- Who's that, Dr. Zayas? <laughs> right. So anyway, they were- they were looking over it, trying to look for- for dodgy stuff, but they kept coming over like, really strange things, like, instead of saying, do you want to meet in a restaurant or a bar? Right, it'd be like- Do you want to meet in a tree? What tree do you want to meet on? Right, okay. <laughs> Are you shooting that's off? That's the end, yeah. I'll see you later, Seriously, that's gone. I'm just gonna listen to the end of it anyway. It's, you're an idiot. You're an idiot if you believe that shit, honestly. No, I'm, ju I'm just telling you let's, what's, let's, what's let's, online. Let's, let's well, hear uh, the rest uh, of it. How- you, you are- you're nearly- you're, you're ill. You're nearly- you're, you, okay, right. well, I don't know the PC term for this, so I really apologise. You're nearly retarded in some aspects. Um, yeah. Instead of sort of saying where something's sexy, they'd say, make sure you bring plenty of bananas. Right, you're like talking that. absolute- Okay. Are you making up the monkey news now because you can't find it anymore? And instead of saying, should we get married, they're saying, how swollen and red is your arse? <laughs> you you know stupid fool. No, that was me. <laughs> <laughs>